Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you a little bit about prayer today. You know, prayer is uh, simply talking to God and then listening to God. And God is there. You know, you might think, well, I'm talking to God. Does he really hear me? Well, the scripture says, before they call, I will answer. And while they're still speaking, I will hear. So you can know that when you talk to God, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, he will hear your prayer. Some of the great heroes of the faith and the history of the church, one among those are John Knox. He spent a lot of time in prayer, and the church in Scotland was born through his uh, faithfulness and his prayer. John Wesley, the founder of the Lutheran Church, was a man who spent much time in prayer before the Lutheran Church was born. And the Methodists were born after after uh, John Wesley prayed long and often. And so we see uh, how it is that the prayers of God's spiritual leaders affected the birth of the church. So why was prayer so important to the spiritual leaders of the church and in the past? It's because each of them knew that communicating with God was important in order for them to listen to God and to understand what they were to do and how to do it in order to be effective. Like Paul, they also knew that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, that means in the flesh, but they're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. That's 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. So God desires that every Christian should be concerned and burdened for a lost world, and he wants us to pray. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will raise up laborers unto the harvest. And if we pray that kind of a prayer and pray for God to show us who to witness to, how to witness to them, then the effective and fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. We might say, well, Rick, how can you be a righteous man? Well, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, he adopts you into his family and he gives you the clothing of his righteousness so you're seen by God as a righteous person. Well, prayer releases the power of God. The Bible says, pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. So you might say, well, all I can do is pray. Well, friend, if that's what you think all you can do, that's the most powerful thing you can do as a believer. <laughs> when you say, all I can do is pray, it's like saying to a starving man, all I can do is offer you food. Or a sick person, well, all I can do is offer you medicine that will heal your disease. So praying unlocks the doors of heaven and releases the power of God in your life. James 4 verse 2 says, you do not have because you do not ask. So you might say, well, Pastor Rick, God isn't working in my life. And I want to say, how often do you pray to God about it and share your heart with him? Friend, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And you know what? God will answer your prayer. He'll give you the peace of God that passes understanding, that guards your heart and your mind in Christ. You know, God wants to use you in his work to touch the life of other people. Trust him. Pray. Know that he'll hear you. Know that he'll answer and guide you and impact your life forever. God bless you. Have a great day.